Hello, Collective, and welcome to the Humble Sage. If you're new here, be welcome. If you're returning, thank you for supporting my channel. Either way, you're very much appreciated. Today, Collective, we're going to be doing a general message, a daily message. It is a general reading, therefore, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And it's a timeless message, so whenever it finds you, it's for you at that time. Don't forget, Collective, hit that subscribe button to have any future updates and to see any future uploads. Love to have you part of the community. First card out, we've got Instinct. Nice collective. You know, it feels like someone's taken a very long journey here and it may feel like you've taken this journey by yourself for a very long time. The two of swords. Yeah, exactly. You had to follow your instinct, follow your intuition here, moving forward. And there are a lot of things that you have to put up healthy boundaries with here, Collective. You know, the wolf traveling through the forest, they gain that insight, that instinct as they go along. That is to say, you learn as you go along the journey. You learn from experiences and you learn from mistakes. But ultimately, you know that it's all life's lessons to guide you in the right direction. The universe has always got your back here. I mean, even in both of these cards, you can see the water in the background here. So there is an element about having some emotional control and balancing your emotions in life. All right, let's have a look. The Tower, the Ace of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. It feels like some breakthrough is about to happen here for you, Collective, because you've found some inner peace and balance. See this wolf here? They've made it through the mountain. They've made it through the forest. They've made it across the water. And now they're starting a brand new, fresh journey on new land, right? And a new beginning is what it feels like. So because somebody followed their heart here or needs to follow their heart here, just know that you will make it to the other side by having that love. Abundance is within you. That self-love, that self-care and self-respect having that self-esteem to step up and do what you need to do in life in order to achieve. Now, ultimately, we learn from people with more experience than us. We don't get through everything by ourselves, but ultimately, you have to do the work collective. You have to step up and you have to do something in life. We can't, you know, you don't expect other people to do the work for you. You know, you have to do it. You know, energy is what energy is, right? A person's energy is their own. If people try to copy your energy, we'll just know that if you're the wolf, then they're copying the wolf, you know? When people try to step into your energy, it's not authentic, right? Because you've done the work, you've done the inner work, you are the truth, right? And you can see here even, right? When we look at this five of swords, the eight of swords, and then the four of wands, you've certainly been through trial and tribulation, and here it's saying that the battle is over. These three swords, the three of swords can indicate heartbreak or pain, but in this case, it feels like lessons because the water here, once again, the water in the background, you can see here and here, those battles, those past traumas are over. And now you can release yourself from this self-imposed mental prison, right? Because you have the clarity here, right? You're not just running on emotion. You're actually running with emotional intelligence where your intellect and your emotions are balanced, right? And you're going through this rite of passage much like this wolf here, because you, you are true to yourself and you are true to others. You are authentic here, Collective. And that speaks a lot about this energy here. This is the reason why the universe could be gifting you today or around this time, where you see that the universe is bringing you this level of communion because you did the work in order to be in this energy. You know, you did the work to be able to sit on this throne, this personal throne. This throne is not about being above other people. It's about saying, this is what I've achieved. And so you carry on moving forward. The one constant in life is change. Therefore, you flow with the change of the universe. Right. We've got the Page of Pentacles. Nice. And the Ten of Pentacles. And to finish off down here, we've got the Hierophant. Nice collective. That's really nice energy. 
because when we see this, we already have the queen. It's like, here, you've been meditating on your environment, your goals, your accomplishments, and what it is you seek to achieve in life. And that's very important. You can see the mountain here. In the background, this icy mountain. It's the same icy mountain that we can see in the wolf here with the instinct. You've made it to the other side, and you've gained this pentacle from the universe because you understand that you are the pentacle. You are the gain. You are the achievement. You put that work in. Therefore, the universe matches that energy, and you've gained this wisdom because you were guided by the universe. You follow the signs and synchronicities. And this is saying here at the end, the universe has still got your back. And the universe could be bringing you something today or around this time, which is very, very useful for you, is going to help you. Perhaps it's going to be some sort of, like I said, some sort of breakthrough here. You know, perhaps all the work that you've put in and you haven't seen, not, not seen much result, but now it's time that the universe is matching that energy for you. You've had that patience here and now it's coming to fruition for you. A beautiful energy here the king of swords at the bottom of the deck god the universe spirit divine angels ancestors and spirit guides here have got your back it could be something legal here or something to do with paperwork or maybe a contract something like that that's coming through for you here collected with the king of swords it can also mean that you are sat in this energy you know you are the truth you were authentic throughout the whole journey and that's not something that can be duplicated Let's get a Namaste card collective. Know this as well, collective. I don't know why I'm getting this, but if you were in this self-imposed mental prison because you felt that others had trapped you in this energy, just know that now you're free. You get the rite of passage because you were true to yourself. They actually didn't trap anything because you see this person here? This person, these swords might be around them, but their feet aren't bound. And they can step out at any point. So if people try to create illusions around you to try to keep you trapped, that's now over because you're stepping through this rite of passage here. This four of wands can be about success. It can be spiritually or any, any part of your life, but certainly collective, you've done the work. The universe is going to do something that's really going to help out. Congratulations. A blessing of acceptance. Every part of you is equally worthy of love. Accept yourself as you are, and this will be a blessing unto yourself and others. If you wish to see the truth of the matter, hold no preference, either for or against a particular outcome. Just be the love that you truly are. What a beautiful way to close out this reading, Collective. Thank you for being here with me today. And if you would like to have a personal reading with me, I put the details in the description box below. Please feel free to DM me or to send me an email and we can discuss what your preferences are. And as always, Collective, please take care of yourselves.